Greetings in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior and coming King. I am privileged to send you my greetings and I am very happy because this is not only to greet you, but it can be a way of remembering our Christian calling. Remember, first of all, we are the Church of Christ that is called Pentecostal. Pentecostal means empowered. What kind of church? Where we belong? To the empowered church. And missionary, we are not empowered just for nothing. We are empowered with a great purpose. Jesus said in Acts 1.8, And ye shall be my witnesses. After that the Holy Ghost is come upon you, and you shall be witnessing in Jerusalem, in Judea, and in Samaria, and unto the uttermost part of the world. So we have the greatest scoop of ministry over all the world, to all nations. And indeed, we must be informed, and we must be empowered, because if we will be informed without empowerment, then it is good for nothing. Empowerment is because we are a symbol and we must experience being empowered. And after we are empowered, we will go. So we belong to the missionary church of Christ. To go is to receive a mission order. We go because there is a mission order. What is our mission? To be witnessing. And we are to be witnessing not for our neighborhood only, but if we will begin, if we will begin there, indeed, we are to be exercising throughout. Remember, the Bible says Christians are followers. Many people today are called Christians, but they are not followers. But the first Christians in Antioch was called Christians in 1126 of this uh, book of Acts. Uh, the Bible says that they are not only called Christians, but they were called Christians because they are in the church and they are doing their missionary work of teaching the Bible. And so remember, my dear brothers and sisters, we are not only gathering in this camp, but above all, we are gathering with the purpose. We must be reminded, we must be trained in our daily activity, our daily activity, whether we eat or drink, we do it in the name of Christ and for His glory. And so this camp of yours, I am reminding you that we cannot escape our responsibility. Your responsibility might condemn you if you did not obey. Your responsibility will be a blessing to you if you keep on obeying. And so, I suggest that you make a definite conclusion that as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. And we will serve the Lord by preaching the gospel. We are not looking for to be wealthy. We are not looking for to be somehow well known. But we look forward that the plan of God in our lives will be fulfilled, that we will find ourselves a faithful missionary like them before, daily, and not only daily. Wherever they are in Acts 8, 4, they go forth and never stop witnessing that Jesus is the Christ. There are people who are very zealous in going forth to solicit, to ask for money, and according to them, their money goes to the people who are insane and who is insane, only their leader who has not stopped begging for money and wasting this money to all his likes, like buying costly vehicles and also this usually the only man of wealth and afford, like uh, a helicopter, 
or buying many more things, not in necessity of life. And this is the setback today of Christianity. Their Christianity who make Christians a bad meaning because as the native of Vendoro says during the night when they are able and they will meet the Christians they say, said let us hide for here are the Christians who is already drunk and so they cannot have rest with people who are beside them are drunk so we Christians today must have a clear testimony of who we are. We are in Christ, we are changed. We are not only changed in our habit and custom, we are changed in our values of life. Like for example, serving the Lord is the best that we have experienced. And so remember, if you uphold the gospel, the gospel is the power of God unto salvation. And God's power is behind you when you are ready and set to go to preach the word. Again, be reminded, make your time so useful in your camp. Listen very well and pray so fervent so that we will be able to do the will of God and to escape from all these things that will happen in our, in our time. Let the word of God be our comfort that we are not to be troubled chapter J chapter 4 of the book of john but rather we will, must be comforted that christ will come again and he will receive us he will receive us to give us the escape and the blessings but if you will not go then you have failed and you have lost the greatest of what you can be. To be co-workers with God is the greatest of all that God has offered to us. Workers are important before God. So be a worker, whether in your home, daily, or wherever you are because of persecution, you must preach the word, never to be ashamed. God bless you and praying for your successful camp. In Jesus' name, amen.